Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm so excited for this video and just for the next few days because we are actually going away on vacation. I am uh, beyond excited. It's currently Thursday and we're leaving on Sunday. So we just have two and like a half days to get ready, get organized. So I'll be taking you guys along as I prep for the trip. We're gonna pack. I'm about to get my nails done and a pedicure, which I'm so excited about. Yesterday, I went for a facial. I did a few Instagram stories, so I'll put those in here. But we did a hydrofacial. You guys probably know those are my absolute favorite. It's like a little vacuum cleaner for your pores. It's just amazing. So my skin feels really, really good right now. Now. And I love to do this before I travel as well because I usually tend to break out and flying and changing up my environment. So I just like to prepare my skin as much as possible and doing a hydrofacial and just taking extra care of my skin before a trip. I feel like that really diminishes the amount of breakouts and just like how aggravated my skin can sometimes get. So I'm very happy about my facial and right now I'm about to do my nails. If you guys remember from a few videos back, I think it was in December. I shared that I had taken off my nail polish so I usually do a thin layer of acrylic and then gel and that will usually last me really well for like two to three weeks but I do like to take breaks from time to time just to let my nails fully regrow and just breathe. I do think that that is really important to balance out with all of like the chemicals from nail polishes and all of that stuff so that's what I've been doing and they are almost fully regrown maybe you guys can see there like this is my new nail and then up top is obviously the old nail so they're almost there <laughs> but yeah, i just want to make them look nice and pretty for our vacation i'm very excited though for the pedicure because that i haven't gotten done in ages i'm going to be wearing sandals and open toe shoes and all of that so i definitely want to get a nice pedicure and what else oh i've also been to a waxing appointment so that's all taken care of and i feel nice and fresh and clean and like a dolphin <laughs> i'm actually going to walk to my nail appointment it's about 20 minutes from our apartment and the weather is beautiful today so i'm going to use that as an opportunity to walk be outside get some sunshine and then when i come home we're going to pack organize get all of that sorted and i'm so excited Okay, I am back home and my nails are done. They look so pretty. So this is actually just a shellac, so there's no acrylic here, which is a little bit better for the nails. And she said that this is still gonna hold really well. I love just like soft, pretty, neutral, clean nails like this. I love it. And then I also did the same on my feet. Feels so nice and fresh. Okay, next thing I have to do is go through all of my summer clothes, my summer dresses, and see what I wanna bring with me on our trip. If you guys don't know, I always pack away my summer things in the winter and vice versa because like we have a pretty good size closet, but I still don't like to over cram it with things that I'm just not wearing that season. So I like to pack things away. So I'm gonna go through and see what I need, put that on a rail. And then I also got some really pretty new dresses recently that I might even try on and share with you guys because they are so so nice but i'm gonna do this first and then i'll show you the new pieces
Okay, I've unpacked my summer clothes and I've taken out some of the new dresses that I've gotten. And I think this is everything I'm gonna bring with me in terms of like dresses and stuff. I still, of course, have to pick out like workout clothes, swimwear, just a few basic tops and things like that. But this is what I'm gonna bring and I'm just, it just makes me so happy just looking at this alone. But okay, so these are a few of the new dresses that I recently got. I'm gonna try a few of these on for you because they are so pretty. And maybe you'll get some inspiration for some early spring summer fashion. Um, a lot of these can actually be styled with a sweater on top like this dress for example. I'm gonna try a few of these on and of course I'll make sure to have everything linked for you down below in the description box. Okay, this is one of my favorite new dresses that I got. I love the color, the pattern. It's so pretty, so feminine, and the fabric is so nice and just lightweight as well. And I love the little cutouts and the ruching here on the front. So pretty. And the little straps. I also really love the back of this dress. It's got a beautiful crossing, again, with that dainty little strap. Ties in the back, so cute. This is from ASOS. Most of these things are from ASOS. I got very lucky with um, ASOS this time. I will have this linked for you guys down below. I would highly, highly recommend this. Okay, this next dress is actually from H&M. I got this back in the fall when I was looking at fall things and I thought, okay, maybe I'll get it for the spring or if we go away on vacation in the winter. And I just thought it was so beautiful. I love the ruffles here around the chest and the color is so nice and just summery. It's just such a nice vacation dress. And it's also nice and lightweight and flowy. It again ties in a little bow on the back and it's got this ruffly detail. So, so cute. I do need to iron this part though because it keeps like flopping up. But this should be, you know, like laying down but maybe it was just folded in an awkward position. But yeah, so cute. I hope that they still have this available. I will check online and of course I will have it linked for you guys if I find it. Okay, this next dress is from ASOS as well, recent, so this is definitely still available. And this is actually one of my favorite dresses that I got and one that I think I'm going to be wearing a lot during the spring and summertime as well because it's more of like a classic kind of dress. I know that it is leopard print, but for me, I kind of look at this as like a neutral and I think it's just really easy to wear on like an everyday basis. And I think you could actually just throw on a sweater on top of this, like a knitted sweater and have it on during the springtime and just have that kind of like cozy layered uh, sweater dress look. I think this is the perfect dress for that. I also love little cardigans like this to wear on top of a dress like this. So I'm going to bring this beige one. This is from Mango and it is new. So this is definitely still available. And then this black one as well. I've shown this to you guys before. This is from Revolve and it's basically the same but in black. Okay, just put on the beige one to show you guys what it would look like, but I think these are great for evenings if you are going to be sitting somewhere that is maybe air conditioned or it just gets a bit chilly at night, but you still wanna wear like a pretty dress. Or if you wanna wear this like early spring and you just need to layer something on top of a dress like this, I love cardigans like this. And this one is so cute. I really love the color and the little ruffles around the sleeves and it also has it down here as well. And then I just paired it with my beige Chanel to show you kind of how I would wear it. Okay, next up is this really cute, simple, light blue mini dress. I like that little detail and then the back is open. You just tie it in the back like that. Pretty sure this is just a cotton dress, so it feels so nice and breezy and cooling. And I love the print as well with the blue little flowers. It's so pretty and just a nice like casual day dress when it's really hot, you're gonna be outside. I also found this really cute kind of sagey green baby doll style dress. 
I really love this as well kind of similar to the other one in the length so a great like just every day going to the beach going to lunch doing something outside and you just want to be easy breezy comfortable and then it's so cute that it ties here in two bows on the top of your shoulders a really comfortable shape as well and I thought the color was so unique this like sagey green I really really love this and this is also from ASOS okay and then lastly I thought this dress was really fun and special and again I found this on ASOS which is crazy I feel like this is something that you could easily see on like a net -a -porte, Revolve I really think it's so beautiful and so fun and just perfect as a vacation dress I love the color the print and even just like the fabric and how it fits it's really comfortable flattering kind of has an open detail on the back with this cutout so I hope that you guys found a little inspiration from that little mini haul if you guys are maybe also going away somewhere or if you want to just get a few like early spring summer dresses and things like that then um, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed some of these pieces because I love them and I'm so excited to wear them next week when we're away. It is a little bit later and I've just made myself some dinner and this is one of my favorite like quick weeknight meals that literally take less than 10 minutes. Like it's so quick. It is healthy ramen noodles. I shared this recipe about a year ago in one of my what I ate today videos. I'll have the recipe in the description box but it's seriously so easy. I can't remember if the noodles are whole wheat or gluten-free but one or the other and all of the vegetables are frozen vegetables so it's so quick I've got some shrimp in there too and then I make my own spice mix so you know exactly what is going into the noodles there's no MSG it's not loaded with sodium and it's just like real whole natural ingredient I would highly recommend this it's so great for just like busy nights or if you don't have a lot of things in the fridge all of this is frozen and then of course just the noodles and the spices and there you have a meal <laughs> so i'll make sure to have the recipe and the video as well um, where i shared this down below in the description box Good morning guys, this is the update currently on my suitcase. We leave tomorrow, so I'm just trying to get everything packed. We leave pretty early in the morning, so I really want to get all of this done. You guys probably know I love to use these little packing cubes when we travel and it literally makes my suitcase so much easier easier to organize even just to unpack because things are not like all over the place and I can easily just take these little bags put them into the closet when it comes to like swimsuits little things like socks underwear little tops and stuff like that and then I've got my dresses in here another one here and yeah it just saves so much space I'm also just gathering up all my smaller items into these little uh, smaller bags which I also love this is where I have all of my skincare this is hair care and deodorant hair brushes here I've got some body care things and I'm also bringing my body brush I've been really into this lately and it's something that I want to continue when we're away I'm also bringing this resistance band just in case I want to use this for any Pilates flows or anything either in the room or at the gym I'm also taking my supplements I really want this to be like a wellness trip Mo and I have been talking about that like just really being able to relax take care of ourselves get sunshine eat really good food sleep just take care of our bodies so we can really feel 
feel very rested and rejuvenated and especially my supplements too i recently got this new um organizer because the other one that i had the tops were not closing properly so i needed a new one and i thought this was pretty cute with all the colors i've talked about these before but these are such a great way to organize your supplements if you're going away on a trip or even if you're at home and you might have like a lot of different bottles and you just want to make it really easy to remember what you have to take and it's all like in one place so this i will pop in my bag and i take this down to breakfast and i have this with my food and then the probiotics that i take which are the steed daily symbiotic they already come with a little mini travel vial which is so convenient i love that they provide you with this i use this all the time when we travel and i love just how mini it is but it actually fits a lot of the capsules in here and these i actually like to have separate because these i will take in the room first thing in the morning on an empty stomach just with some water and i think it's so important to stay consistent with these small daily habits even when we're traveling especially when we're traveling i still do my water first thing in the morning and then i go to the bathroom i still like to stay active when i'm away and eat healthy of course i like to indulge but i think it's so important to keep doing the little things that you know are going to make you feel good because after all you're on vacation it's not a nice feeling to be bloated on vacation especially and just feel like lethargic and tired so i love to keep doing the good things for myself when i'm away i actually did a whole video on my healthy kind of travel tips and things that i do when i'm away Way to keep feeling really good i'll have that video linked down below if you guys haven't seen it but i talk about some of these things in that video and i would highly recommend checking it out but in case you guys don't know this is my favorite probiotic it's again by seed it's their daily symbiotic it is both a probiotic and also a prebiotic and what makes this really unique is that the bacteria are actually guaranteed to survive all the way down to your colon due to the two-in-one via cap technology so there's a protective outer shell housing the bacteria on the inside because most probiotics actually just get burned up by our stomach acids and bile salts and they never actually make it all the way down to our colon where they need to go but with seed they are guaranteed to make it all the way down i've been taking this for almost a year now i take one capsule every morning and it has so many benefits it can really help to improve your digestive health bloating and our gut health is also so closely linked to the health of our skin to our mental and emotional well-being to the quality of our sleep and also to our immune system over 70 percent of our immune system is located in our gut and that's why i think it's especially important to take this when we travel or when we're away we're in a different environment we're eating different foods we have different kinds of people around us and it's really important that we keep our immune system strong and healthy especially in today's world so i love taking this to support my gut health if you guys have not tried this out yet i would highly highly recommend it they are offering all my viewers 15 percent off you can use the code annieej15 at checkout and again that will get you 15 percent off your first month's supply another thing that i think will be pretty easy to stay consistent with because we always do a lot of this when we're traveling and this is also something that is very much part of my wellness routine and that is walking you guys probably know if you've watched my videos videos for a long time I love to go on walks but I have found in the winter time I just don't tend to go outside as much obviously because it's colder it can go days when it's raining and snowing and it's just like not a nice environment for me to get motivated to get outside so i made a little personal challenge for myself which is to walk at least 10,000 steps per day i got this little fitbit watch which i mentioned in my latest video and today i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this new wellness routine that i've incorporated into my days so in the spring summer and even in the fall i go out and walk pretty much every day and i'm pretty sure that i used to hit 10,000 steps steps a day without even really thinking about it i would sometimes just check the steps on my phone and it would often be like up at 
around 10,000 steps but obviously I don't carry around my phone with me all the time like during the day when I'm at home doing things around the apartment and stuff like that so the steps are not counted on the phone when I'm doing things like that so I thought I would get a watch this is again a Fitbit but you can also get like an Apple watch or an aura ring and I just like that this keeps me accountable and keeps me motivated to get in movement during the day so how I've been doing this is I've also gotten a walking pad for at home which you guys saw me using this morning so I've been doing that pretty much every morning for about like 30 to 40 minutes depending on how much time I have how I feel and I will just do like a nice gentle paced walk just as if I was walking outside so it's nothing like where I'm sweating, I'm not doing an incline or anything like that. It's just a nice, gentle, and slow-paced walk. And doing this in the morning, I will already get in around 4,000 steps, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a bit less, just again, depending on how much time I have and how I feel, also how the weather is. So like today, today is nice and sunny, so I know that I'm going to go out for a walk later. But if it is like a really rainy day or it's cold or it's been snowing, I keep that in mind during the day and then I will either walk a little bit longer on the walking pad but I do love that this is at home and it's so easy to just get on it if I'm on a call or if there's a YouTube video or something that I want to watch I'll just hop on the walking pad and just walk at a gentle pace and I know this is like kind of a funny spot to put a walking pad but you have to do the best with the space that you have and for me this works really well it is also foldable and it has wheels so you can really easily just fold it up and store it away and it's out of sight but I like to have it like out so that I can easily get on it again if I have a call or something like that I can just get in a few steps and it's really easy and convenient and something that's been really fun about having this especially for the morning time is that I can just wear like shorts I don't have to get super bundled up like this morning it was really beautiful and sunny but it was icy cold there was frost outside I'm pretty sure it was my minus degrees and I just did not want to go outside so it's really nice to have this and then I can just jump on it whenever I want to and then of course it's so nice to get out in the afternoon and go for a walk and also what I like about having my watch and trying to get to at least 10,000 steps is that it really makes me less lazy during the day so instead of thinking like oh I have to go up and get this thing that's in the other room or I can't find parking really close to my appointment or oh like I'm in the supermarket and I forgot to get something which is in another aisle now I think about it like okay I can get in a few more steps and it makes it like a fun challenge to again just be a little bit more active move your body and again it's such a gentle and low impact way to move your body and it's actually so good for you there are so many health benefits to walking people who live in blue zone areas for example or the countries that are the healthiest and have the people who live the longest are all people who are active and gently moving during the day even the elderly so I really think it's such an important thing to incorporate into your day and for me as I've talked about so many times as well it's also a very mental and emotional wellness routine that I do for myself so it's not just great for your physical body but for me especially when I go out in nature it is so grounding it's so healing and therapeutic I love being around the trees and hearing the birds and having fresh air and feeling sunshine on my skin it really makes me feel so so good and that is the main reason why I do it so yeah having this little watch has been really fun I like that it's so nice and slim I'll have this linked for you guys down below if you want to check it out but let's see so right now it is 117 and I've done 5130 steps so when I go out for my walk come back and probably by the end of the day I'm pretty sure it's gonna be around 12,000 because my walk is usually like six to seven thousand steps and then just being at home walking around the apartment especially on days like today where I'm packing and just like doing a lot of little things the steps really add up and it's just fun to know that you're doing something really good for your body 
body in such a nice gentle and natural way it is a little bit later and i just prepared us some dinner i'm trying to finish up the last few things that we have in the fridge so we have some salmon i had a sweet potato and some carrots that i roasted up and the salmon i also roasted in the oven and then a mixed green salad on the bottom with some cucumbers and tomatoes and i'm just going to put a little fresh lemon juice on top of the salmon you know they just got <laughs> no, me kidding. i was like okay so basically she, he said this one is vanilla mm -hmm. that one looks really good and this is chocolate and this is cinnamon 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 mm. i think we have to try one of each okay, okay. this one and this one my favorite mm. It's like vacation starts early. Oh my god. <laughs> so good. This one was not bad, but this is more juicy. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely gonna have more of this one.